How's it going everyone? Today's first test is going to be the buttons and the system navigation. Just wanted to do this real quick being on Android 10. The system navigation is customizable in three ways evidently. So we're just going to take a quick look at the button maps and then we're going to get on to the system navigation. Now get in here. Test the game pad. So D pad left, right, up, and down. All good. Let's check this. Left joystick good. Let's check the right one. Left, right, down, up. Seems like it's working. L1, R1, L2, R2, left thumb button, right thumb button. Select, start, A, B, X, Y. As you can see, A is on the bottom. B is over, X, Y. Good to go. Got our home button. I got double tap for my recent and customize that. And the back button is right there. As you can see, pretty good. Let's test those joysticks. All right. Got our left, got our right, got our down, and our up. Now let's try our circles. Look at that. Now that's a lot better. All that range we have now, look at that. Better than six or eight points. We can go anywhere we want. Go right on that dot. Right on that dot. Right on that dot. Right on that dot. We can color this whole thing in now if we wanted to. That is a big thing. Can do the same with this one. As you can see, navigate wherever we want. A lot more precise controls. Nice to see. I'm gonna go back. As you can see, there's my recent. Now, if I don't want to use my home button, I can use my swipe navigation from the bottom. Swipe and hold. Or if I want to go back a page, if I was forward, swipe from the right side. Swipe from the left side. All good there. Now I'm going to go back to the home page. And we're going to go back to settings. And we'll move forward into system. If you go into advanced, you got gestures there. And then system navigation. And these are your three options. Now you can go to two button navigation. I don't really like two button navigation, but you can use that. Tap to go back, swipe up for your recent. You got your back button here on the right side. You can tap that, go back into it. And then on top of that, you have your three button navigation, old style Android. So you can check out your multitasking with the left one and go back with your right one or go to the home. I'm going to set back to the navigation I like, which is the top one, which is complete swipes with nothing on the screen. Full screen looks good. Like I said, and we're good to go. Overall, I'm enjoying it. Keyboard's nice. I got Gboard going on. Looks like my home screen messed up a bit there, probably because of what I was doing with the navigation, but it's all good. There we go. Back to the home screen. Shut it off. Power button. I can turn it back on with the B button or A button, for example. And I even have double tap. I'm using Nova Launcher as my launcher right now. And I can double tap to put it to sleep. Pretty convenient. And you can navigate the menus and everything. With the d-pad or you can use the joystick and you're good to go 
click into things like that. And in the next video, we're going to test out some NVIDIA games. So we'll be testing that out in the next video for sure. That's something I wanted to test out. See the quality. Check out the network connection. I am running on a 5G network. Um, Wi-Fi network. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Next video will be up in a little bit. Peace.